And welcome back to the week of Who Would Win. Uh, you'll notice I'm behind on every one of my videos yesterday. They are coming out today. Uh, long story short, there was a bit of a medical emergency yesterday. Not, don't need to go into specifics. Everything is fine. It was a false alarm. Uh, and so I didn't get just to do any videos. But we're here now, and we're doing videos. So this came to us from NASCAR, what was it? NASCAR 4, uh, 453, who asked the question, Who would win in a race? Baby, I believe it's Miles, technically it's Baby's Miles, um, oh crap, what is his actual name, um, okay, Dominic Toretto from the Fast Furious, his actual name is Miles, I can't remember what his full name was, from Baby Driver, but one is a getaway driver, one was basically a professional, well not professional, but a street driver who was a, was a uh, carjacker with his crew basically to steal, you know, whatever they need to steal, and then ultimately became outlaws, became criminals, and apparently Dominic Toretto is the most unstoppable force on Earth. Uh, you know, you don't mess with family. Like, literally, his family, you'll never break his family, as they say in the new trailer. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the question is, who wins in a race? And to understand that, we kind of need to understand their styles of driving and what they're capable of doing. Let's start with Baby Driver first. Baby Driver is a particularly, is specifically a getaway driver. His job is to get away from the cops or get away from anyone driving him down uh, or driving behind him or following him. And when, when it comes to that, he does his job well. He is capable of doing, he's capable of flooring it, obviously. Uh, but he's also capable of doing amazing trick turns in an instant going from, you know, uh, going from drive to reverse, backing up, going to park, hiding behind something. He can drive backwards with no difficulty and then immediately turn it around using, I think he's using the uh, emergency brake in those moments. Just, you know, getting that sharp turn and moving immediately, moving, uh, immediately forward. Um, he's, he's a skilled, he's a skilled stunt driver in many regards. Um, now he's there. Now he's, he still ended up screwing up his car, um, in the movie, in fact, in both movies, he ended up screwing up the car, but that's because he actually had to, he was, did that on purpose, he crashed the car to kill Jamie Foxx, uh, and he did it to force, um, John Hamm's character off, uh, the, off the ledge, but, yeah, he's, he's a very capable driver, absolutely, Dominic Toretto, he mostly just did street racing, in fact, he didn't, technically, he doesn't legally have a license, if I'm remembering correctly, he lost it after an incident on the track, when he saw the guy that accidentally got, got his dad killed and beat him to hell with a wrench. Uh, so I believe he do technically doesn't have a license. Or if he does, like, he can't do any, like, he can't ever, like, professionally drive or something like that. I can't remember which one it is. But being raised on the streets, he's capable. He, he's a uh, very skilled driver, even just from the first film. Where he, they were, did, like, they basically were able to shut down roads and do an entire race across a city. Uh, he's well known for using things like NOS in his engine, which, uh, you know, gives him that hyper acceleration while, you know, burning the engine out. Um, he tends to drive mod more modified cars as the series goes on because the series gets more and more ridiculous. Now, we don't always see him do a lot of, a lot of the trick stuff that, uh, Baby does, at least not in the, in the same way. He does, we have seen them drive in reverse multiple times, and anything like any of the other guys can do, he can do in a vehicle. He's pretty much the godfather of the vehicles in that uh, series. Uh, but yeah, driving backwards, he can do fine. Those stop brake kind of, uh, stop brake turns with the emergency brake where you just stop turning like that, he can do that fine. He can now uh, drift, no problem. I think one of the few things he, I'm not sure he can do, at least, you know, at least in the same capacity as Baby Driver is, and Correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't recall seeing the fifth or the sixth movie. I came in, at the, I came back in, I believe, on the seventh, eighth, and ninth. I and I never saw the second or the third. I saw the first, the fourth, the seventh, eighth, and ninth. So I, I was kind of like, I kind of missed the view. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong, if he's actually done this trick, where basically he kind of stops immediately, goes immersed, and just parks and stops. I don't think I've ever seen him do that. But it's not really that hard when you're talking about stunt driving. The inner so in a straight race, Dom's probably got the better vehicle, which does play a big factor. Uh, despite the fact that your driving skills play a humongous factor, your the vehicle you're driving also plays a big factor. But at the same time, it also does still come down to skill. And 
let's be honest, with the exception of that little, like, parking trick, which does not aid you in a race. It's aiding you in evading cops, um, or evading other people uh, who are chasing you. Except for that, nothing Baby, Baby, as he was known throughout most of the movie, nothing Baby can do, sorry, there's nothing Baby can do in a race that Dominic can't also do and just do it better, because he's just been driving longer. Uh, he's just far more, he's just a far more experienced driver. He's actually also a far more dangerous individual. In a straight fist fight, these guys, he would murder this man. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where Dom literally grew up on street racing. Uh, whereas Baby doesn't race. Baby is a getaway driver. And there is actually, and it does play a factor in the decision because there is a, mindset difference between trying to get away and trying to race. There is a difference between the two. Also, we know Dom would res can resort to some dirty tactics, like when he uh, did Paul Walker dirty in, what was it, Fast 4? Yeah, it was Fast 4. Um, when he did him dirty in Fast 4, when he uh, when he read the, read the NOS, uh, and then Paul Walker, you know, revved it back, except then he, like, sideswiped him and it caused him to uh, go off the road. So, Dom knows how to not just race, but he also knows how to actually fight with his car in a race. Baby can't, maybe don't do that. Baby is not a racer. He's a getaway driver, first and foremost. Add on to the fact that basically, like I said, anything we see him do, even stunt-wise, Dominic can already do. So, in a straight race, Dominic Toretto would be the winner, I think. I think it'd be very solidly in his... That's not to say Dominic wouldn't give respect wouldn't give respect to baby because he could recognize baby is a skilled driver absolutely there's nothing no doubt about that in my mind but if you're asking me who i think is going to win a race it's going to be dom but that is just my opinion who do you think would win in a race uh, is there something i'm missing with baby or is there uh am i overestimating dominic toretto you know the god among men that he is the man who has flown through a plane through three buildings got hooked on a cable flew so, so he could fly to an island. Uh, what else did he do? Oh, outran a torpedo, I believe. Or at least may have kept speed with a torpedo. And outran a submarine. Um, drove with giant magnets on a car. I think out uh, drove a tank at one point. Or that was... No, I mean, that might have been John Cena in the movie. I can't remember who drove the tank. The point is, they've done some ridiculous shit in this series. But I'll see the next one. I didn't think the last one was complete trash. But except for a couple good action sequences, yeah, that last one was pretty bad. Um, anyway, I digress, though. Who do you got in this race? Let me know. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.